Hey everybody. You know, sometimes you just want to plant the weeds, and I don't mean that in the way that you might be thinking. We all know that weeds are just a plant that you don't actually want in a particular area. So really any plant can be in weed if it's not where it wants. And I'm not really even talking about the things that are generally considered by most gardeners as weeds, the wild things that grow in our yard. I'm talking about specifically growing something that many people totally and utterly avoid. In this case, we're planting black locust. Black locust is considered to be an invasive in many areas because it grows from its shoots and its seeds are extremely viable. Uh, so we're planting black locust for two specific reasons and extra additional benefits beyond that. We're planting them because of having shade for the southern exposure of our house. So you can see I'm far from the house because of the azimuth that the sun takes around here, especially in summer. We don't need them right up against the house. I don't even want them to shade over my house. I don't want branches over my house because of the storms that we get in our area. The second reason is for honey production. As ironic as it may sound, black locust makes a whole lot more nectar for the bees than honey locust. So a lot of people like to plant honey locust, but really the most valuable tree to me is the black locust between the two of them. So what we've done here today is measured out a distance for these trees that are about 30 feet apart a piece, making it so when the trees are fully grown, even though that's going to take a decade or so, that the branches will barely be touching. So we're, we're covering this whole area and giving the trees as much room as they can to spread out rather than lining them up right next to each other like a hedgerow. We're also laying down this weed barrier as a way to try to help keep down some of the suckers that these trees might produce, but also just as a way to keep down weeds. I'm sure you all remember from previous videos that my wife is highly allergic to grass pollen, so this is gonna help keep down some of that. Now we're not gonna leave this all bare area forever. We're going to come in here and interplant some additional understory plants that are going to enjoy the shade and enjoy the nitrogen that the black locust tree is going to fix into the ground. If you've never seen that before, any plant that's an actual nitrogen fixer, because not all legumes are, they produce these little nitrogen nodules on the roots of the trees, and that through mycorrhizal fungi and all the other wonderful soil ecology that takes place, makes it so that other nearby plants have an opportunity to take up that nitrogen and use them for their own growth. So we can plant other varieties in this area and get more out of it as well. But that planting is gonna to have to take place another day. We'll come in here and fill in the rest of this mulch when budget and time allows. But for now, the trees just came in today and we had to get this down as much as we could before the next two days of rain that are coming. So let me know what you use it for. There are certainly a bunch of other uses as well. Some parts of the plant are edible, uh, and also black locust is known as being a very durable wood and a lot of permaculturists and traditional people are going to use the branches to make uh, handles for things like a bow rake. So I wonder what you might put it to use for. I don't think we're going to ever harvest enough wood off of these to make fence posts, but the wood from these trees is highly rot resistant and so it's another potential use down the road. Now something that we'll do off camera we only planted four trees today, but we actually bought five. So we're going to go way back in the woods, probably up near the deer field that you all have seen, and plant the fifth tree and allow it to grow there. And maybe that's one that we'll take a couple big branches from for some bigger projects or something like a tool handle. Thank you guys for watching, and thanks so much to all of our patron subscribers who make projects like this possible. If you have any questions or something you can add about this awesome tree down below, or maybe if it's a tree that you absolutely hate because it grows like a weed on your property, hey, share it with people because I'm sure they'd like to know that too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Daddy, are you hoping to cover the entire yard with mulch? <laughs>